I'm Zhong Li, currently working at the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. It's a pleasure to meet you, new friend. Mm-hmm. And I'm his boss. Oh, and if there's anything unsatisfactory, let me know anytime. That's very considerate of you. Oh? Hmm. No wonder. Only a boss as savvy and reliable as you would be able to hire such an impressive consultant. <laughs> oh, you're too nice, Venti. Not to brag, but our consultant truly is impressive. His knowledge extends across the stars in the land, and there's nothing throughout history that he doesn't know. From the sophisticated way he speaks, it's hard not to suspect that he could very well be an adeptus in disguise. <laughs> So, you're an Adeptus. Do you think it might be possible? I... Sorry. I'm only good at conquering demons. I'm afraid I don't have much knowledge in that matter. Uh, really? But Paimon thinks you're super knowledgeable. Huh? Oh, oh! Right! Uh... Chow's a warrior! He doesn't come to the city very often, so it's, uh, pretty normal for him to not know anything. Yeah. Eh? Really? I've actually heard a few things about Mr. Zhongli before. The guests in the tavern talked about this refined and courteous man who, instead of having wine at Mondstadt's finest tavern, ordered a cup of hot tea with the most complex name. Now that you mention it, I seem to recall that there indeed is a musician like yourself in Mondstadt. I've heard that he's elegant and amiable, his works witty and vibrant. It's no overstatement to regard him as the best bard in Mondstadt. <laughs> now you're making me embarrassed. I would say that Mondstadt's poetry is a little run-of-the-mill sometimes. There's one I heard a while back that went, uh, The old house is renewed, welcoming the spring breeze, awakening old memories. The meaning's there, but the word choices are unimaginative, and there's a distinct lack of literary flair. I think so, too. The composition needs a little jazzing up. If I were to give it a go, I'd make it... An old melon on a vine. A new flower that grows fine. Oh, good one! It feels unique and has a nice ring to it. You have great taste, Venti. I was afraid about you. Let's shake hands. Of course, of course. Hmm. Hey, Xingqiu! Hmm? Mind lending me a few books when we get back? Pick out some well-written ones! I don't know if it's my own lack of literary knowledge, but I couldn't tell the difference between those two. I don't think it's your fault. Chang Yun's right. It's not our fault. Oh, you have a point. But speaking of... Why is the tone deaf bard here? Are you here to take part in Lantern Rite too? I heard that Liyue will be hosting a Lantern Rite music festival this year. As a musician myself, how could I possibly resist the temptation to come take a look? <laughs> or a listen. Getting to know other musical styles is essential to sparking inspiration, don't you think? As for the Fontaine friend who hosted the festival, I saw him near Stone Gate the other day. The Iridescence tour has finally been held successfully for once, so I had to congratulate him. Don't think anything of it. By the way, I was watching as you entered Shinyue Kiosk, but no one seemed to notice me. Should I say that it's because I'm an expert in hiding, or that a certain someone deliberately ignored the sound of the wind? <laughs> Whenever Lantern Rite comes around... Liyue Harbor becomes bustling with activity. People are all busy watching the lanterns and strolling around the shops, and they might just go travel somewhere on a whim. It is rather difficult to predict another's whereabouts. 
The festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly. And we're all gathered here with friends, new and old. This is no doubt a wonderful occasion worth celebrating. To come together with all of you at the beginning of the year, one can't help but be filled with joy. In a moment like this, I propose we raise a glass together. In my case, tea in lieu of wine. Uh. Very well said, Mr. Zhongli. That was exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, now I'm getting a little self-conscious. I didn't cause you too much trouble barging in like that, did I? We usually drink wine during occasions like this over in Mondstadt, but since Mr. Zhang Li insists on drinking tea, I'll give a toast with tea too. Everyone, thanks for the treat. You're welcome. As the host of this gathering, I hope everyone enjoys the food and drinks. May this year be better than the last. Considering that everyone may have other matters to attend to later, sticking to tea seems like a good idea. Uh... uh all of a sudden, they started proposing toast! Should... should we? What's with the urgency? <sighs> sure. Have you two finished eating? It's always nice to have a breath of fresh air after a meal. Helps with digestion. <laughs>